Hello everyone, Dr. Van Merkel here. Just want to give you a quick case, something to get you thinking and um, uh, to be able to help your patients more. But here's a good case. The doctor had a uh, kind of alarming uh, concern about this patient. And this is what uh, started that. He is right there. He is uh, age 50, 6'2", and there's his uh, concerns. And uh, you can see his presenting symptoms there. You get cases like this uh, to present with, and you're going to test them properly. And that's what this doctor did. This patient is on just on aspirin. That's it. That's it. And uh, let's see. We go to his labs. And this is what caused the doctor great consternation was how bad the labs were. Right there. Now, that kind of panic you a little bit if you saw those numbers. You got a code blue high GGT. Screaming high ferritin, extremely high at 698, and high SGPT, high serum iron, etc. But that's mainly the, the primary things in the labs. And so let's look at, so we've got that. Now we're going to scroll on down and see his other tests. He's, his vitamin D is just a little bit low, but his CRP, CRP, and SED rate, ESR, are optimal. They are optimal. So we go to the hair test. The hair test looks like uh, nothing critical there. The aluminum is, is sky high, is way too high at, at 25. And we see that the, um, well, we see the zinc is high, uh, but I mean, this is fairly common. We would like to see more lead and arsenic come out, especially lead because it is in our environment that this patient has. And you see that. And he's very concerned about the lab. And right there's the labs. Now, what would you think if you had a patient with labs like this? What would you think? High, extremely high GGT and high ferritin. If you remember in your lecture, that would first indicate, or you better really consider, can you hear everybody say it together now? Alcohol. This is classic, or, or what you commonly see in alcoholics. Extremely high GGT, but the ferritin is also very high because all the alcohol affects liver function and uh, ferritin is an important, an important part of that. But I would also have this patient donate a pint of blood because that ferritin, uh, it's a kind of, it can work both ways. The sick liver can raise the ferritin, but a ferritin can make the liver sick. And you'll commonly see this arrangement right here with alcohol. Uh, and do these people always admit how much they're drinking? Not very much, and that's why I commonly recommend these patients that they do a little experiment, and for one week they drink no alcohol, maybe two weeks, no alcohol, have them donate a pint of blood as soon as possible, and put them on maybe like the Fresh Start diet for two weeks, and the vitamins that are recommended. And you will see these numbers drop like a rock, and you will be a rock star. You will be an amazing doctor by what you've done because you have truly saved this patient's life with what you're going to do. Now, no doubt this patient was headed toward heart attack, toward serious health problems, or liver, liver failure, whatever, if this weren't turned around. And these numbers are going to look wonderful with good patient compliance. So hopefully this case has been a benefit to you. Hope you have a great day. I'm Dr. Merkel.